Hey YouTube. I'm gonna try to I'll try to keep it quick. Um got this uh Spiderco sharpening system. A few weeks ago, several weeks ago I guess. Been playing around with it because I got a couple spider co knives, so as soon as it's the I bought the tenacious and as soon as it started getting a little dull not even dull, just not razor sharp like it was when I bought it. Um, I decided to go with this system, just looking at all the um, sharpening systems that were out there. For the money, I thought um, it was a pretty good deal. Because, uh, I mean, you can really get on up hundreds of dollars for a sharpening system. So around 60, 55, 60 bucks. <clears throat> now, I know there's some similar systems, but this one being like a four stage, I think it'll it, it gives you a, a little bit better. This is just kitchen knife. I mean, it's not super dull. It's actually pretty sharp. It just ain't that sharp. And I figured I'd do a quick overview of how to use it. Start out with the medium stones. Triangle edge out. Um, I may have to redo this. I don't know if I want to show sharpening or not. Like I said, this one ain't too bad. I'm just going to do about five strokes on each side. And I wasn't counting, so let's just say it was five. And you flip it to the flat side. And uh, it does a really good job. And even somebody like me, I meant to lay all my other sharpeners out here. I have other cheap sharpening systems, the ones with the rods, and it's a $20 Walmart deal. And it does okay. But And I've always used stones. And I can get a knife sharp, but not, not paper cutting sharp. And... Uh, the ease of using this, I've really been amazed because you kind of you have to keep it straight yourself, but it's 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 kind of like it's natural. It, it really it's really pretty easy to to figure out, and uh, I mean it's just a natural stroke. Um, I still ain't quite there yet. It's close, but it ain't quite there yet. Um, but I've sharpened several knives with it. I've took some cheap, like frost knives, you know, ten, fifteen dollar knives, and they wasn't never that sharp to start with. But hitting them with this, I was able to get them where they cut paper. I mean, like I said, just cheap knives, um, and that's all I've ever owned up until a month or so ago. And uh. And then I'm move on to the fine stone. Just go ahead and do it a few times. Um, and even a cheap knife, you know, just a 440 stainless steel edge, I was able to get um, sliced paper. I may have to work on this one more before it cut. Yeah, it's pretty close. It's cutting at least. Yeah. I can feel these, uh, I got a few bad spots on that blade. It really needs more work than that. Really need to hit it with a stone. I got some, yeah, I got a few bad places in it. But hey, I mean, that quick, I was able to go from not cutting paper to cutting paper. And, and since I don't normally cut paper with this knife, I'm sure it'll slice of tomato real good now. So, Anyhow, overall, I have to say I highly recommend it. I mean, if you got some really nice knives, if you invested some money into some knives, I think this is a uh, worthwhile investment. Because um, you go from $10, $20 sharpeners, then this, $50, $60, and then you really have to go over 100 bucks to get anything better than this. So it's a pretty good compromise, and... And, it, and as far as the uh, good knives, my, my spider coes, I've 
and I'm sure any other good blade, man, I've been keeping these just stupendously sharp. Uh, I probably could get that one that way if I worked on it, but this story started that way. And um, got the paramilitary too. Which it was kind of that sharp to start with. I've only sharpened it one time since I got it. Um, I'm a lot rougher on this knife. I carry it to work and everything, and I'm pretty rough on it. And uh, this puts it right back, just like that. So, anyway, all I can say is I, I recommend it. Um, I think it was a worthwhile, worthwhile investment. Um, I mean, you're not going to take a uh, just super dull barlow knife and put an edge on it with this. It's going to have to be somewhat sharp to start with and uh, this will finish it off. Uh, but anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there that uh, works good. I'm happy with it and um, as you can see I've been using it a pretty good bit. Uh, I wanted to use it a little bit before I even said anything about it. So there you go. See you later YouTube.